So now we're going to go to our Man on the Street feature, which this evening is about the Ron Paul rally, which took place in, on April 26 in Austin, Texas. Uh, and again, it just exemplifies the massive crowds that he attracts, uh, the real ideas that he injects into the body politic, uh, and, of course, how he's garnering immense support from the U.S. troops and the military community in general. So here's that Man on the Street report with Darren McBreen. Everywhere we go, we see, you know, Ron Paul bumper stickers, we see the t-shirts, he has a tremendous presence on the internet, yet Romney, I don't see Romney for president bumper stickers, I just don't see that same, you know, presence and same enthusiasm for, for the other candidates, but yet Ron Paul's an underdog, does, it, does that seem strange to you? Well, you know, I think it's something that the Republican Party should look at because, you know, what my grandfather's message is people will get enthusiastic about it and people aren't getting that enthusiastic about what Mitt Romney's saying. So, I mean, I think they need to look at that when they're trying to run against the Democrat in the, for the presidency. You know, they need a message that people get excited about if they want to win. Washington is always the last ones to wake up. You know, where I go, uh, we get the large crowds. And they're very concerned, of course, about the attack on personal liberties. If, uh, if you mention just uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, most people know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's good to have you here. Um, what made you a Ron Paul supporter? Uh, the thing that made me a Ron Paul supporter, I've actually been following him since 2007. I uh, actually looked up all the presidential candidates back then to see what each and every one of them stands for. Uh, so I know what Ron Paul stands for. So everywhere Ron Paul goes, he's a rock star. He's filling up stadiums. Um, but yet the mainstream media still treats him as an underdog. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, it just continues to show how the mainstream media is not trying to cover anything that's real and they're not trying to uh you know they're they're bought they're paid for and i think it's it's completely obvious to everybody and and so um you know i'm hopeful that uh more people will become awakened just because of the fact that they're not showing more ron paul and uh they completely have, have, have turned the attention away from uh you know what what he's doing his movement how he pulls higher how it seems like um there's election fraud going on right before our eyes but we can't get any kind of uh you know, uh, mainstream media, what you pull up on your cell phones, what you get on the news and the local uh, stations is, is, has nothing to do with uh, what's really going on and what the, what the people seem to want. They treat him like an underdog. He's supposedly behind, yet everywhere he goes through the campaign trail, this is the kind of crowd that we expect to see. I know, it's shocking. I heard today that we're probably going to have 10,000 people here. Yeah. And the media coverage that's here, thank, thankful that we're thankful that you guys are here. Mm -hmm. And it is surprising to me is, you know, the voting doesn't show these numbers, um, at least the official voting numbers. Whenever you look at online, whenever we get those um, polls oh, yeah. from the, from the they debate. they stop doing the polls. And they stop yeah, doing yeah. it. They, they, yes. Now, others say, well, that's okay to a point, but we have to make sure that nobody ever uses any drugs. And I says, you mean uh, alcohol? Yeah. Oh, no, we don't mean that. We're talking about those illegal bad things. And, uh, and then I said, well, guess where most of the addiction is? Is it on the illegal drugs? No, most of the addiction is on the prescription drugs. That's where the real problem is. No matter what he wins, I mean, even if he does not get elected the presidency, he still wins because he's injecting the real ideas and he's bringing up the real issues and just look at what's happened. We already won. If you look at the contributors of Romney and Obama, you got Goldman Sachs, uh, Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, um, JP Morgan, um, Bank of America. Ron Paul's contributors are Air Force, Navy, and Army. And, it, and then, then his money bombs where people are pitching in 20 bucks at a time instead of the big corporations. It's thousands and thousands of people pitching in 20 bucks here and there. Exactly. And if you think about it, um, our sense of support comes from uh, true labor. It has real value. It comes from the, working, from the working class. It does not come from the printing shop up at the Federal Reserve. It does not come from the fractional reserve banking system. It does not come from, from Ponzi schemes. It comes from the hard work of the American people. <laughs> Also, the reversal from what happened from 100 years ago has started 10, 20, even 30 years ago. People who have been writing about Austrian free market economics, writing about the Federal Reserve System, and writing about and trying to get people to understand why a non-interventionist foreign policy makes more sense than being the policeman of the world.
Thank you. <laughs> Now, the biggest thing, reason why I, I support this guy is because it's the reason why I signed up in the first place. I signed up to, to protect the constitution, constitution of the United States of America, and Ron Paul is the closest guy to actually defending those rights that we have. We have a clear candidate who stands for what everybody, whether they know it or not, it's, it's what the truth is and what they stand for. And more and more people are with this awakening are realizing that, they're self-awakening, and they're showing up in droves. We got probably 4,000 people here at this moment. It's not even ready yet. I even ask people questions like, uh, why are you voting for Obama other than the color of his skin? Because that's the majority of people, the reason why they voted for him in the first place, because he was a black guy and everybody else was white. That's why I thought that I saw. But uh, nobody knows, nobody does the research, nobody does the back searching. But the majority of us that go off to the war, who have actually gone off to war, we're pretty much sick and tired of the war. And all we do is we, we want to go home. We don't want any more deaths. We want to stay out of people's businesses, mind our own stuff. That's, what I, uh, that's why I support it. We may have something happen. There may be a false flag uh, incident where some, some uh, ship goes down and you would be used for the excuse to accelerate the next war. And... Uh, we have to learn to distinguish war propaganda from the truth. I think it's important to take into account that it is not about Dr. Paul. He's a, he's a great messenger. It's about the message. And um, the movement is strong. The movement, the liberty movement, will, is never going to end. And we're just going to get bigger. And I think we're just waiting for that tipping point for the revolution, right, to begin. What would you say to the hardliners who say that Ron Paul is a pacifist because he's not such a warmonger? Well, I would say that you need to do your research more. Obviously, Ron Paul is for the people. You have to get a declaration from the, con uh, the, uh, the Congress. Uh, he would go through the Congress, ask the Congress for approval for war if we decided that we wanted to go after somebody. And uh, from that, he would take his stance. But by no means is he in isolationism. Uh, he just wants to make sure that we focus on ourselves, stop the bleeding before uh, we actually help uh, anybody else. Back when I was, uh, I served in the Navy as well, five years, and uh, one of the best things that they ever taught us was uh, in a, a uh, gas environment, if we have a nerve agent gas that hit us, we would have, uh, we would have had uh, eight seconds to don our gas masks. Now, if you, if you were, uh, had you and your buddy, your buddy was having trouble with the gas mask, and, uh, and you, had, you had to don yours, you had to don yours first. It was by the rules of the Navy that you had to don your gas mask first before you can help them out, or else if you try to help them out, they didn't live, you would die as well. So us going off to these other countries, try to help them out whenever we're bleeding out with our economy the way it is, it's a bunch of garbage. All right, man. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time, bud. I appreciate it. Sick of the globalist eugenesis control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at Infowars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139.